Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to part 44. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time, and I haven't finished the body work on the P100 yet. Uh, I just need to get some uh, epoxy primer on it, but it's been either too damp or too wet. Anyway, uh, anyway, it's on to Alan, and in this video, I'll finish off the rear outer valance, and move on to a few other bits, so uh, yeah, off we go. Okay, the uh, time cometh uh, to put the rear valance on, uh, but before that, I need, just need to, uh, going to put some uh, 2k epoxy uh, primer on the inside, uh, and with that in mind, I've, uh, I've just cleaned up the uh, a bit of the back as well. Just, to, just well, if I've got some over, I can just spray it rather than. So yeah, I'll just put some in there. Just put rust converter in there. All of that business. So yeah, so we're gonna gonna do that. I just need to clean that up as well. Just need to clean the in, in, inside of the uh, the rear balance up as well, and then I can put some holes in it as well. Uh, mask off the areas I'm not going to be spraying. Uh, that'll be uh, obviously have to uh, have to weld to. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Bit of lactic acid build up, so uh, yeah, give it a rest for a few seconds. And uh, I'm not going to take it all off, I'm just going to try and uh, just there's a I, there's not even really any rust underneath it, but uh, yeah, just uh, just more to roughen it up than anything else to take the paint. So, yeah, well, yes, as we know from previous, it's not a fantastic fit, it's uh, from Magnum's panels, and they're cheap enough, aren't they? But not an amazing fit, it will pull in, so yeah. I just need to see where I'm going to weld. It's a little bit of a better fit down this end than it is down this other end. This will need right pulling in down there. But we can sort that out. So yeah, there's a, a few weld points. Uh, I've uh, just cleaned that up a little bit as well down there. And uh, I've just cleaned up a few areas here where I'm going to be plug welding. So I was plug welded there originally. Uh, I wasn't going to bother plug welding it there because I think it's strong enough anyway, but uh, why not? So, plans are uh, obviously get get some holes put in this uh, this upper edge. It is upper edge, even though it's lower because this car's upside down. Uh, and then see where I'm going to be putting the the holes for the plug wells here. Uh, I'm guessing it's just uh, just be all right, but it's, the main the main thing is getting where these are right. So we should do that next. Right, so let's bring that up a little touch. Right, what I'm going to do is so first off, I'm just going to put some masking tape down here because I won't be at the length I require. Because uh, yeah, I don't want to be don't want to be painting this bit. So I shall get it over there like that. Yeah, that's, uh, there. that's a little bit high in places. Let's, uh, 
let's realign from this side now. So that's going to be yeah, about here. Those, okay, super, super, super smashing through. And then, I'm not sure I'll, I'll turn these off. Sort of, hopefully, this will work. It may not. So at least give me the line. Uh, right, I can do with. Let's see if I can move you back just a touch there so I can get this in. Wash it up there, and hopefully that tape will come with it. Uh, partially su su successful. I could have just measured it, but I was going to. I was trying to be fucking clever, right? I suppose it was a little bit easier. So that's basically. I don't want to paint. I don't want to paint that bit. Do I? Don't want to paint that bit. Right. So, and because it's quite precise, I'm going to have to measure along now and where I've marked these, and mark onto there. Uh, where we're going to put the uh, the spot wells. Right. <laughs> That's the line we've got. Right, what do I need to do now? Let's do some marking. There we go. I'll put you down there. Right, where's the marker? That's what's one. That's another one. Yes. Uh, the, it's down there. That's going to be a bit. Successful marking ceremony, I'd say. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. Right, so those are going to have to be done the manual way with a uh, with a drill. Okay. I have a clamped up on a piece of wood, uh, and I shall pull you this end. There we go. Look at that clean run down there. Uh, six mil drill. That'll be uh, good enough for me. A little bit, should I say. those holios. Yes. Okay, a little bit sticky. Uh, oh, actually, I still wanted that on, really, didn't I? No, never mind. I put more on. Oh, who's a moron? Me? Let's do that again. Make sure we undo it this time. There we 
then Jim. Right. No, mind you, I do need to just. Uh, no, it's not so bad actually. No, it's not bad. Not bad, eh? It's all right. It's all right, eh? Yeah, I was going to take off, but it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Right, then, what else have we got to do? Take that off. And. Yeah, I need to put the other holes in, don't I? That's going to be easy down there. And. Yeah, just get the old, uh, the old doobery out. Yeah. Alright. Right, let's go with a bit of the old uh, pneumatics. Um, Shoulder in the corner. Be able to see this side, so I'll switch you off. Okay, sort of, uh, sort of final fit up. I don't know. It's uh, gonna, gonna have to pull in there. Always need more clamps. Always need more clamps. Well, that'll, that'll, that'll go in a bit more there. Have a shaky hand. A bit of a shaky right hand today. Don't know why. Uh, I've got shaky hands all the time. To be honest with you, ever since I was a kid. Uh, uh, that, uh, that'll pull in. That's pulled in there. You can see it will pull in. It's. Uh, that's, uh, as you can see, that's quite close in there. It will, it will pull right in. Uh, as in there as well, that's pulled right in. And there, and there. So I will be able to get that. Uh, let's just look at these. Is there paper underneath those? I think there is. A few paper there. There's a bit of a gap there, so I'll have to tap it in, I think. Uh, I shall have to, yeah, have to do something with that. I'll have to tap it against there first. It will go in slightly, as you can see. There is some movement. Let's see if I can rest it there so I can. But yeah, it will move over. But yeah, there's some shiny steel there. Just these ends. They're not particularly well defined. And actually, let's bring this back. Let's clean that lens as well. Uh, what's that doing there? Go away. The F thing. Oh, that's better. So yeah, that'll have, that'll have to bring in. I'll have to tap it. I'll have to. I'll, you, I'll probably start up there. Weld a bit. That one's all right. So weld a bit and then tap it down as it's still warm. And it'll uh, it should bring in all right. Uh, that'll go in a little bit more down there. Just tap it in with a uh, chisel. So I'm relatively happy with that. Uh, normally these come out a little bit further, and you get spot wells in there, but obviously I can't. So I'm just gonna just gonna put a, put a uh, big weld on each side of them, and put a little bit up there as well. Uh, same with this side. It just doesn't. They're not as big as the uh, the originals were. Well, that needs a little bit of spackling, doesn't it? That's a bit. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, that's a little bit on the uh, thingy side. Right. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And that fucking AF thing's come on a stupid thing. Yeah. So I'm dead happy with that. That's all right. We can uh, we can do something with that. So now let's get some uh, some paint out. Yeah. Okay. We've uh, masked it all off. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Just a. Uh, Tap off. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll probably get right in the way, but uh, let's try to get some, any, any dust off that's uh, lying around. Ooh, get off. Some good. I think it makes my pain in the ass trying to get my part. You always end up in a ball. Oh, you see, he's quite dirty. 
uh, just out of shot. Might as well bring it in shot, actually. Uh, this has also been masked up. Fingers a little bit tacky. Right, um, so do. That'll probably be sufficient. Too bothered about a bit of overspray here, that'll be fine. Uh, right, let's go and get it. And there she is, that's 2k in a can. Uh, right, let's have a look. Here's your doobie doobie doobie, 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 yeah. Pretty much what you normally do. Let's have that off. Give it a bit dusty now. Maximum power, yeah, we're on maximum power. Sorry, I can't make this very interesting, but uh, uh, I think it's probably enough that. Probably enough. Let's see what we've got. I forgot.
Do you know, I thought I ordered grey. That looks white to me. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not looking very good, is it? There's one in there. A little bit of place there. That's not right. Hmm. A different cap on the end.
Partially successful. Uh, well, it's just me, not uh, getting a bad one, but nozzles clog up really easily on these. Well, it seemed to, for me it did anyway. It's the first time I used this uh, stuff in a can. Uh, so, and that's supposed to be grey as well. I'm, I'm sure I bought grey. Uh, it's not very grey, it's more, it's more white, I would say. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's really weird. Well, that's, uh, that's a second nozzle, and that it then. It's, I think it's just about gone now. But uh, yeah, I got a little bit on the inside as well there. But uh, it's all getting gravity text anyway. Uh, uh, I'm going to paint it all in 2K before it's gravity text as well, so it'll get an extra bit on top as well. I just didn't want to waste it all. But uh, oh, that's as good as it's going to get in it. Ah yes. So let's put it back up here, and uh, yeah, that's about the size of it. Anyway, I say partially successful. Uh, I was expecting a, a cleaner spray than that, but hey, I was trying these things out. It was uh, it's better than just mixing up a batch just for this one pit, one bit. Uh, so anyway, uh, take some uh, masking tape off. Uh. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Good sign, really, shouldn't it? Uh, and uh, I'll take the uh, take the masking tape off the uh, off the uh, rebalance now, and uh, yeah, and then leave it to set. Okay, it's come the time uh, to weld on this rear valance, and I've decided that probably the hardest thing to get to is is these here. 
So I'm probably going to do this first. I've just clamped it down there, moved it against there, and I had to whack it in a little bit. And I think I'm going to have to do that all the way along, uh, just to get it, uh, just to get it as close as I can. Even now, there's a little tiny, weeny little gap, but uh, it's virtually nothing it'll do. The others will just pull in as I uh, do it. So I'll have to clamp a bit, do one, move down, clamp a bit, whack it in, do another, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so, just in mind, I'll put you over here so you can uh, have a little look what's going going down. Uh, hopefully, I'll not get too much in the way. And uh, yeah, right, what we need is a bit of power. Right, let's get some gas for this. Gas, 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 gas. Um, that. And uh, oh, I'll turn it up a bit as well. Uh, Right, right, give it some, uh, give it some beans, give it some beans. Let's right, see if we can get in. Uh, okay, not too much of a hash of it. Uh, do, do. Right. There we go. Maybe that's uh, put some end gas on there. Right, let's try it with gas in future. It tends to work a little bit better with gas in it. Let's get that bottom one as well. You're a little sick, but we we'll see that at all. But, uh, yeah, I've just put that on there, and that's as pretty close as I can get it, really. Yeah, we might get the little uh, little toffee hammer on it, see if we can get, bring it in a little bit more. Toffee hammer. Toffee. Right. Oh, just a little touch, that'll do us. So let's bring us in a little bit more anyway. Um, I don't know if you can, uh, can put you anywhere for that. Maybe it's on its side. A little bit maybe. Uh, yeah, a bit like that. Yeah, that'll do it. Right then. And I'll uh, sort of do the centre and work my way to the edges. Yeah, that's the best idea. Right, just a uh, just a case of rinse and repeat now, really. Uh, so I'll uh, I shall mount you on my wall, not in a sexual way, obviously. And uh, yes, YouTube would get me kicked off right away. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's put it on the wall, and we'll uh, I do probably do a fast forward for this. Uh, in fact, I should I get some wine? Yes, I will. I'll get some wine. Well, this afternoon we have a, a Bordeaux. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, sorry. So I'll have a, have a little drink of piece of this. Let's see what it's like. It has a cork, so uh, yeah, it's my little. Uh... Mm. 
Oh, it's quite nice. Touch dry and be fruity, lovely. Uh, what does it say? Um, Appellation d'Argine uh, Protégé. Huh. Uh, Baron Augustine evokes delicate notes of red fruits such as raspberries and red currants. In front of an elegant palette of strawberry and the mocha. Uh, well, I don't, didn't know any uh, mocha really. Maybe a hint of strawberry. <laughs> uh, also beautifully balanced and soft tannins. Same suggestion in the garage at room temperature. Excellent. Just good. Yes, 31.5% volume. And uh, yeah, Vent de France. Excellent. Right, I'll put this in the uh, doobry. And we'll carry on. Right then. Get the gloves on. Some safety first, not all of the safety first, but it bloody burns. So, I've got that. Let's move down this end a bit more. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Okay, right, go in here, and you see, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to, oh, where are we? There we are. I'm gonna have to slice into that a bit, because you can see there's a, there's a bit of a gap there, so I'm gonna have to cut into that and just, uh, and just move it in a touch. Just take a bit of meat out of it. Well, uh, I'm not sure you can see what I'll be doing. I've got nothing to put you on. I shall see. It's not ideal there, is it? Not ideal at all. Oh well, I'll get the uh, get all set up and I'll come back. Alright, so I'll use the baby one. See if I can get in some I'm gonna block your view right at this, aren't I? Never mind. <coughs> Can't be helped. <laughs> not bad. That's brought us right about in there, isn't it? There's not much in the way of gap. There's a little gap, but not much. Just go in a 
touch there. There's nothing I can do about it behind there. So I can uh, probably do something with that with filler. Anyway, if I push it in, we're good. Hello, Mr. Bumblebee. Goodbye, Mr. Bumblebee. Right. So, if I stick some in there so you can't see this at all, I can't see it. Right, let's take you around. And I'll, uh, I did make a little bit of a boo boo at some point, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's on. We're, uh, we're uh, on now. Let's turn it off. Why not? Why not? 
coming off. Now, there we go, it's off. Da, right. I did, oh, there's one left there, just one. Oh, Jesus. I oh, don't mind. Made a bit of a boo boo up this end because I forgot under there I made a little recess to, to, to as a drain, but I forgot it was there, so I just whacked it up and filled it in. And I forgot. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute fucking idiot. Oh, never mind. So, well, it's another one there. Oh no, that's that. That is one of the drains. There's one of the drains there to put in, and there's another one here. So we've got two drains still, but I just need to fill them holes in because I forgot when I made the holes, of course. But, uh, yeah, some good wells and some not so good wells. But, uh, hey, it's on. It's on, in it. So it's just that one to do now. Uh, anyway, I'll do that off camera. Sod it. Uh, but yeah, so it just needs a bit of a, a bit of a grind flush now. It's just going to take a bloody long time, especially getting into A. It's really hard to get in, into A because of this because uh, the rollover jig it just makes it a little bit harder. But uh, hey, ah, never mind. We're getting there. It's another job ticked off the list, as it were. Yes. All right, everyone, and uh, yeah, we're back on Alan. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, actually, I've just realised there is a little bit more footage in the can, so I'll be saying this part way through the video, which is a bit weird for you, not for me, obviously. Yeah, not that I'm weird at all. Right. Okay. Well, uh, well that's all ground down. We're moving on to uh, some little things as we move forward uh, because. Yeah, I've done the rear valance now, you will have seen that, uh, the outer valance, uh, pace the other. So, bits and pieces, I've got the Crayford specific bits to go inside, but these here are missing, a, these, these should be rounded because there's, there's some trim that goes, that goes on here around here. So, I'm going to make these little rounded bits and I'm going to do it out of, I'm using 2 mil steel because cause I've got some for one. And uh, yeah, that's 1 mil and 1 mil, that makes 2 mil, and this is 1 mil and 1 mil makes 2 mil. So, I'll do that, and I can see from here it comes to here. Uh, I've already got a, a tin, so if I make some, what I'm going to do is I'll make some squares that size, cut them in half, or maybe a bit, make them a little bit bigger, uh, and then I'll scribe the curve, uh, and then I'll cut them out on the car. You know what I mean? Assuming, yes. Uh, all will become completely opaque in time, so uh, yeah, I'll do that anyway. So I'll cut them up and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. I think I just need to make them a little bit bigger. Squares, a little bit bigger, so I can cut them down. Yeah, lovely. Well, it's not massively visible, but it's just a little corner I put in there. And uh, let's put some uh, bit of welding. And, uh, uh, new hoodie. Ah, ah, ah. Are you seeing me? No, you don't. <laughs> right, yeah, it's unadorned by any kind of uh, uh, rock advertising for uh, uh, any group or other, so uh, yeah. Here we go. Right, let's uh, think about the settings on it. Let's just uh, give it a go. That's a bit better. Excellent. Oh, we've blown through. Oh. Barking. <sighs> Coolio double glazius. Right. right, that's the first bit. Right. Let's get the other ones in and I'll come back to you in a bit. Well, the world is not the goodest, uh, but uh, I've just noticed as well, I may have fucked up because this one comes is a bit bigger. That stopped there, that sort of started there, so maybe there, there was a more of a go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll deal with it when it comes to it. So it's just like me, pulling a chai shop, should have checked everything out first, but uh, yeah, it might be that the, there was more of a curve. But we'll we'll deal with what we've got and see and see if it will curve round, because I've got some that I used on P100, so I'll see if it 
if the trim curls around. We'll see. Anyway, I'll just ground this one down. <laughs> Do the rest and then we'll come back. Right, back as promised. Uh, something moment for me, just me. Right. Uh, stick a bit of that on there. And well, that just happens to be the correct size or as near as damn it is to swearing. What do we think? Think it'd be alright? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but let's uh I'll try and stay out of your way, then we'll have to see what we get. Well, I'll be honest, I don't know. I think it might be a bit too shallow. But, uh, I, shall, uh, I shall try the trim on it and see what we get. All right, this be the stuff. Yeah, yes, I think it's focusing all right, so it's all good. Yeah, so this is the, this is actually off the P100, so it's, uh, I need to put that back. Uh, but, we can go with like that. And as long as it goes around that corner there, I'll stick with it. Ah, oh, yeah, we're all right, aren't we? That'll do for me. So, uh, yeah, this is the actual stuff we use. Uh, it's a bit mucky, but this was brand new when I put up the P100, which is, uh, well, actually, it's a few years ago now. Never mind. Say that. So, well, it will go around the corner, and it doesn't look too bad. So, we'll stick with that. Uh, so over there for now. Yeah. I'm going to do all the rest. And uh, yeah, in it. So uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, it looks all right. It's not a perfect curve, but uh, uh. so uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get another beer, and uh, I'll be back on this. Okay, it's not amazing, and uh, I know this is really heavily pitted, but it's really thick steel. But uh, I don't really want to replace it, but I might do at some point. Uh, but it's going to be cut, all going to be covered by foam anyway, so I don't not that asked about inconsistencies here. Uh, and, and this side, hey, like I say, it's not perfect by any means, but you'll not see any of this. And all this is covered by vinyl as well. So, uh, so yeah. So anyway, that's another job done. And the next job is to refit the uh, the rear bit of strengthening that goes in here, that goes in in front of the hood, as it were. And creates the inside of the uh, the inside of this, which is uh, quite a big job because I've got to uh, some, do some repairs on it as well. Obviously, this these bits have got to got to be straightened up as well. They have to line up there. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, come across and match up down here. I know Greg. Hello, Greg. He had uh, issues finding someone to weld that himself, but so he did it himself. And he did a fucking fantastic job. Pardon my French. <coughs> and the same at this side. So there, uh, I'm just gonna have to line that all up. 
and uh, make a little, in fact I'll probably do that next actually. Uh, I just have to make a piece, cut it, make sure it's cut right and then uh, put a piece in uh, to follow it. Obviously I think it follows this and just comes across and finishes in, in there. Uh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, that'll probably be next on the old agenda. Uh, should be a, probably a couple of seconds for you. Yeah, so that's, uh, oh hang on a second. Uh, did, did I pour yourself a beer? Yeah, did I? Did I? Oh yes I did. Excellent. And there she is. Right then, I'll see you in a few minutes. Or a few seconds. Welcome back. Uh, right. I'll put you on the car. Because uh, my dog should put you around that way really. Uh, but anyway, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just lining up with this uh, with the line at the top here and trying to get some form of, uh, of line down here. Uh, let's see if I can. I want it high enough that I can just take a little bit off it, but I don't want it to. So I can continue with that. I mean, it's. Let's just see how that looks down the car. Yeah, I mean there's a bit of a curve at that end. It, it sort of curves that way and then it, it does stay a bit straighter so uh, that doesn't look that looks too low. So I think I'm gonna have to eyeball it, you know. I think Sort of looks too high. Right, I'm gonna have to trace that. Right, let's just get a piece of uh, card and be back. Righty tighty then. Oh, I wonder if it's better now. Uh, I'll take it off. That. No, it's the same, isn't it? All, all I need really, I, want, I just want to recreate this and then just take it around here a bit, if possible. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, it, might, it might be easier to. Replicate it from here. So look at that. There we go. Yeah, well, let's cut that out. Yeah. So the trouble with that is, even that's not. So that's not quite right. Okay, I've just uh, just found out that that's uh, not quite right. I'm going to just do this by end or by eye, should I say? Hand, hand, eye in hand, hand in eye. Oops, that's a bit, maybe a bit too much. Oops, uh, he lost it. So nearly lost it. Lost it years ago, so that's not. It's not much of a. Uh, I don't know about this at all. Oh. Oops. This isn't. Gonna, it's not going to work. I don't think. No. You have to think of something else. to be done by bleeding done by eye I think <coughs> that needs to be higher up and all I think let's just draw that in there So I think that. Hello. Wife. I oh. need that opening. Husband is needed to open it, open a can. Yeah. A jar, actually. Well, a jar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Husband to the rescue. Fantastic. Right. Um. I don't know about that. Oh, not really. Not really taken with this at all. No. Start again. Get all the piece. First, you don't succeed, give up. Or something like that. That looks shit as well. Oh, it does curve up a bit more. Right. Okay. I've decided I'm going to cut it a little bit above there and I'll see what it looks like cut off rather than just a line there and hopefully that'll, I don't know. Just, uh, there's a little bit curved, the curves there and then it's a bit straighter but there's still a bit of a curve in it. I don't know. I think that's pretty good actually. That's not bad. I think doing it by eye is the best way. Uh, I'll just cut it a little bit higher than that. And uh, we'll see what we get. Right, let's uh, give this a go. Accurate at all. Uh, in fact, I'll probably leave it a bit higher anyway. Oh, that looks a 
know about that bit there. Yes. Do I need that bit? Uh, there's a lot of guesswork involved in this, there really is. But uh, I think uh, I think we're just about there. Right. Uh, I do have some pictures of inside here. But I shall think about it. I shall think on some. Uh, well, I think that's as good as we're going to get it. I think. I don't think it's going to be put. I mean, the hood's going to cover this bit anyway, so you won't really see it. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't have to be perfect. There's this bit here I might have to just uh, take out. Uh, or do I actually need to? Can I just add that piece on? Because I'll just be uh, reproducing this as it runs all the way along there and here. I don't know what to do about that. I just don't know. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it looks like, but uh, we'll just uh, we'll just mess around until we get it uh, looking something and strong enough. Yeah, uh, I know the the inside piece that goes across the back here. This ties in here uh, to the top here, uh, so there'll be a bit of extra strength there. Uh, and I'll t I'm going to try and tie that in as well somehow to this. So I'll bring a piece over and up and yeah. Uh, I think, anyway, what was it like at the other side? Yeah, no, nothing goes behind that, I don't think. Yeah, that's all right. What's this? What's that? Oh, there's a bit of just cut off. Yeah, don't need that bit. Don't need it. Uh, it's no good to me. No good. So, yeah, I'll do this in, in two pieces. I shall make just this uh, this flat piece first, because it curves, it curves like that. And then I'll uh, I'll put this uh, I'll put this edge on it. Uh, and probably weld it in now. I'll, I'll make it. I'll, I'll, I'll make the make the piece off the car, and then I'll put those two pieces together when I've got that piece right, uh, and I'll weld them off the car, and then weld them on the car. Yes, together as a two as a gruesome twosome. Uh, all right, let's take this off now because I know it's about right. If I do take some off, it's just going to be a little bit. Uh, so uh, that's that. There, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Let's paint off it. Uh, right, yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm babbling, so I'll be back in a second. Right, now I've got to see if I can uh, scrub that line underneath. Scissors again. I lost the scissors again. It's again. I probably left them down the other end. <sighs> snippity snippity. Right, I can just about see it there. Uh, Hopefully, something resembling what we need. What we need. Uh, that obviously, is going to have to bend down a touch, isn't it? Uh, right, at this end. So 
a lot bigger than that. Leave a little bit on. So, um, I think just probably near the very near the very end we need that, don't we? In there like that. Hmm. Maybe too much. Well, not enough. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what's whereabouts that's going to go down. Not that it really matters, I don't think. Hmm. Well, all I can do is make it out of steel, I think, and then see what we got. I probably should have just gone straight. I think I'll make the, uh, when I make this up, I'm just going to go straight with that. Rather than cut it in as I've done. Yeah. Indeed. Right then, I should make it out of steel and I'll be back. Right, we have the piece cut here. Uh, and, yeah, it's nice and flat there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at some photos I've got and get back and see how that goes. Because if I twist that, it, it makes a right mess of that. Uh, and I don't think that's right. I'd rather leave that flat, so I might just bend it at the end. Bend it at the end it. Bend it at the end it. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, because I, I need that to get the other piece. That, that lip to run all along there, which I think the lip does run all along there. But, uh, like I say, even if we'd make it all up, it doesn't really matter, because there's, uh, the hood goes over there, and you don't see it. It actually protrudes down a touch, uh, for however long the hood, far the hood goes, I'm not too sure. Uh, I could, actually, there's a chrome strip, you know, the chrome, well, if you do know the chrome strip or not. On the top of the door, on a, uh, GL and above, there is a, a chrome strip that runs along here. And it stops where the hood starts, but I'm not sure. I've got, I've got, I've got them somewhere. They did come off the car, uh, or they were in the car. I can't remember one of the two. Uh, so I do have them uh, somewhere, and that tells me where the hood starts. And it's, I'm sure it's somewhere, somewhere around here or something. I don't know. There, yeah, no mind. Uh, I shall consult some pictures and get back. I'm waffling again. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Yeah, right then. Well. I've checked everything, so I think I've checked everything. I've, I've looked at some pictures of uh, other Calvary's cars being repaired, mainly Greg's on Bicel Cortina from a long time ago now. Well, a while ago. About three, two, three years ago. Can't remember now. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, I think I'm just going to weld it down here, and uh, yeah, and as it gets around here, I'll bend it down. Uh, I don't think it's that important exactly how it is. So I'm just going to tack it on first and see where we get. Right, where's, me, where's the end gone? Where's my end?
like that. Oh, she's missing it completely. Right, that's better. something about the lighting situation in here, it's not too good. Oh, itchy nose. Jesus. It's a bit low there, isn't it? moved again. Stupid thing. Alright then, well, uh, I should probably have to uh, weld a bit more when I've ground this down, so make it a bit weak. But I can't really weld it from underneath, it'd be a pain in the ass. This is what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Done. 
Mine's a bit of a trim there, and that piece putting on. I was going to put the uh, put the piece on before I put this on, but I realised because of the good old angle, I can't clamp it anywhere. So I have to do it afterwards. There you go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. Still pretty much straight. That's oh, not bad. Looking off we're welding it on, a, on an edge, it's, uh, it's not going to distort much, so it'll be alright. I'll do it so I still have to weld a bit more because there's a bit there, a bit there, but I thought it actually penetrated quite well at the back. Uh, there's a little tail there. Take that tail off. Get hold of it. A bit of wiggle. Oh, you bloody thing. Yeah, the ideal thing would have been to. Uh, oh, it's just, uh, oh, it's just moved again, hasn't it? There's the tail gone. Yeah, the ideal thing would be weld it from the, the inside. I can build weld up on the inside, but yeah, I couldn't get in there easily. But I'm just feeling and the soot. And yeah, it's pretty good. Ow. That hurt. So yeah, we go there. perfect because the window comes to there, the hood comes I think to up there, uh, there's a little hole to put in here somewhere um, for the, uh, the part of the hood mechanism, the, the cable goes through it, yeah, and uh, I, think it, I think it goes into that, uh, that holder down there, uh, anyway, yes, uh, waffling again, waffling. So I think we'll uh, yeah we'll leave that one there, and uh, I'll mark it up for for cutting to put the uh, that piece in there. Yes, lovely. Okay, do Uh Yeah, I did a bit off camera. It's uh, in uh, in true uh, blue Peter fashion. Uh, here's one I've made earlier. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to tack it in a touch. See if I can tack this bit in first. I'll uh, come around here and I'll see if I can just give that a quick, uh, sorry, a quick attack of poo Has that got it? Oh, it's bare, barely. Ah, oh, she's on now, she's on. Alright, let's have a look what we've got. Uh, I would have liked to have done this slightly differently, but uh, unfortunately, there's most. I would have liked to have put it on the back and but I can't, I can't. Just the way it works out. Just the way it works out. I've got to do it like this. So, sorry. Uh, this isn't ideal, but. Do a few tacks. There we go, a bit at a time.
Yes, yeah, so a little blow through there, a little blow through. Excellent. Straight around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh give me a little bit off. Oh. Oh, that's righty tighty. Oh, I forgot that bit at the end there. No, oh, geez, oh, never mind. We'll take you in for a second, and then I'll, uh, I'll just weld that up. So. Uh, uh, I'll just turn it up to get some penetration down there because it wouldn't. Well, I blew through a little bit, but I knew doing it like that would be all right. So we'd be all right with a bit more power. So, all right, a few things to do. Uh, oh, I need to do that bit down there as well. I've, I've ground that tab off that was sticking out that was there. Uh, I've ground it level, so I'm just going to put a bit of weld in there. And this needs to be uh, come across and up at the back of that. That's going to be hot. It's going to be very, very hot. Uh, right, I'll switch everything back on. Because <sighs> I'm an idiot. Oh, am I just forgetful? I don't know. So, anyway, let's take that off. What a swell party this is. Now I can switch it off. Well, it's going to be impossible to get in most of this. I'll have to uh, get the uh, get the cutting disc in there, sort that out. But in the meantime, Phil ah, Nelson. Just get these ends bits done.
episode 44 wrapped up. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you all in the next episode. So, bye for now. <laughs>